But we are honored that Bill Bratton has chosen to serve this city, and we welcome him back. We welcome him back with open arms to the department he loves so dearly. Commissioner Bratton, will you please step forward to receive the oath of office? So I thank those of you who are about to begin your careers, and I envy you. Because I am toward the end of mine. Not too toward the end of mine. Many of you waiting in the wings here. But, uh, <laughs> And then certainly to those who know what it's like to toil for many years, how great it is, how great it is to have lives of significance, lives that matter every day. For me, a great Kelly, there's a bottle of champagne, with a personal note, Happy New Year, good luck, great Kelly. The idea that he would take the time to basically leave that for us, so Ricky and I, it's just, it's just a reflection of the man that he is, so I understand. <laughs> the words in that nine principles are so true, but let me paraphrase the last, because I think it speaks to the controversy that we're engaged in around stop and frisk, the amount of it that was objected to so strongly by so many in the city, that this may have certainly responded to in this campaign. And that I think many of the men and women of this department felt that there was something wrong and that as we're trying to go about our business, it just was not happening the way it should have. I think we can find the right amount that we have a safe city in communities and police that respect each other. And this ninth principle of the nine principles the test of police efficiency is the absence of crime and disorder, not the visible evidence of police action in dealing with it. And also the measure and level of trust between the community and police force. In Los Angeles, Bonnie Rice, who's in the front uh, row here, and Chief Beck for Los Angeles, we had an expression in that department that had an incredibly bad history with its minority communities that we came to understand that you cannot arrest your way out of the crime problem. Certainly there needs to be a focus on the criminals among us to keep us safe from them. But we need to look at so many other remedies that are now on the shelf, so many other prescriptions that many of the chiefs in this audience today are experimenting with around the country. We intend to look everywhere to see what everybody else is doing. We intend to share everything we are doing. And we will get it right for this city, for this profession, in this country. And we will achieve the dream that this mayor campaigned on. The idea is instead of two cities, that there is one. And that we are all one together in enjoying the benefits of the greatest city on this planet and the safety offered by the men and women of the New York City Police Department, which increasingly looks and is like the population of New York City. Mr. Mayor, thank you for this extraordinary opportunity that you're giving to me. To the men and women of the New York City Police Department, my commitment to you is to tell your story, to create that story, and to create a story that we can all be proud of. And that at the end of our careers, with the men and women to my right, that you can say that you had a life of significance, that you had a life that matters. And to the men and women at my left, as you begin your careers, to understand that every day you come to work, you can have a life of significance, a life that matters. That every day you get the opportunity to do good. It doesn't get any better than that. Thank you.
question is, in your remarks, you talked about the good things the police department does and then the alienation seen in the community, and you want to get to the bottom of that. What do you think the problem is there? From my perspective, a perspective that the mayor and I share, that I use a medical analogy in the conversations with him during the campaign, that because we had similar experiences in Los Angeles, as it relates to the stop question frisk issue, which is the issue, that crime is down to just extraordinarily low levels in the city versus what it was, that it is, should, is an expectation, or there should be an expectation that the intrusion of police into citizens' lives should also diminish. But we have the reverse happening, and this is where Commissioner Kelly, and I've got the greatest respect for the commissioner, but we have a divergence of opinion about this issue. I am quite comfortable that we can have less and achieve the same results. More focus, and Operation Crew Cut is an example of more focus, an extraordinary operation that is really helping to deal with the levels of violence. So it really is a difference of opinion, and the former commissioner, his opinion was that stop question frisk and operation impact were the way to go. There is an absolute need for some level of stop question frisk. It's a basic tool of police. Your tool is questions. Tool of police are also questions. And the mayor and I are in complete agreement on that issue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.